in December in the year 2023. Signed by myself, President of City Council, Nick Mosby. Right. Give it up. Give it up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank everybody that was uh, included and helped us, you know, 40 and my team and stuff like that, you know, that uh, make this happen. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, hopefully we can also get many more to come back in the city and, you know, help the city. I feel as though when I was coming up, we didn't have somebody to, to be hands-on with us. That's why, you know, we was doing a lot of things. We was doing outside, you know, uh, the rec center and stuff like that. So I feel as though we put more, more, um, I don't want to say money, but more stuff in the city that the kids and, and, and uh, people can do in the city. I feel as though the city will be better for, you know, everybody. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in and give a big shout out to Javante Tank Davis, man. Like they say, the face of boxing right now. Holding down business, standing on business inside the ring, knocking everybody out who get in front of them but also taking care of business outside the ring and standing on business outside the ring where he's from in Baltimore. Vez has several titles to his name. Now he's donning a new role in the city, developer. This block here of Sandtown Winchester is where Davis grew up. Now it's largely abandoned and filled with vacant homes. Davis recently bought up two buildings on Woodier Street. He hopes to be an example for others living in the neighborhood. I feel as though we put more, more, um, I don't want to say money, but more stuff in the city that the kids and, and, and uh, people can do in the city. I feel as though the city will be better for, you know, everybody. Everybody on this block, you know, um, that once lived when I was here, definitely uh, a memory for sure. I will always, you know, have a, a memory of them in my uh but I'm, uh, you know, in my mind. All right, here you go. One, two, three. All right, now Davis's team is rehabbing two homes. Eventually, the plan is to acquire an entire block, rehab the homes, and convert them to affordable housing. As y'all just heard right there, dog that went to his old hood, block, renovated some things, and the write-up says this. Boxer Javante Tank Davis is giving back by helping to renovate the same West Baltimore neighborhood he grew up in. City officials announced Thursday at a press conference. I definitely want to thank everybody that was included and helped us make this happen, Davis said. I feel as though when I was coming up, we didn't have somebody to be hands on with us. Davis said he believes the key to improving Baltimore City as a whole is by investing in the youth. The renovations which come following Davis' donation will begin with the vacant building at 1542 North Woodyear Street. Nine properties on the same block will be acquired by GTD Development, renovated and used to create affordable housing. City Council Nick Mosby commended Davis for his contributions to the community during a press conference, noting his track record of membership and awarded him with the City Council of Baltimore Presidential Citation. Mosby said he remembers Davis's enthusiasm when he went to speak to a group of incarcerated teens who were waiting trials as adults. Tank, when he goes around the world, he literally carries the city of Baltimore on his back. Baltimore City Council President Nick Mosby said, for you to come back, invest in your hometown, invest in your community, and invest in your block is truly, truly special. Davis said he intends to work with his team to continue building homes and eventually Rec recreational spaces and this right here is the highest honor man one of the brilliant things you can do bro coming back where you from giving back to the less fortunate tank most definitely been holding it down in the ring and for him to have his own situation where they going back working with the people in the community him being from west baltimore and we know baltimore one of them rough places man we talked about different things going on in baltimore for sure on this channel and just how crooked police the drug problems and things of that nature and just the whole process in itself, man, it's real out there. So I got to give a big shout out to Dave, uh, Tank Davis for that. 
most definitely salute, respect to the highest level, man. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. Keep doing your thing, Take Shout out to their whole team, too. The trainer, everybody holding it down. We know it's a whole team thing, but most definitely, Take man. Keep doing your thing, for sure. 1,000.